Hi, let's continue with our section and in this video I want to talk about the support vector machines which is the very important machine learning algorithm. So support vector machines or SVM use a subset of training data, specifically data points near the edge of each class in order to define a separating hyperplane in two dimensions aligned. These edge cases are called support vectors. The goals of an SVM is to find the hyperplane that maximizes the margin, which is the distance between the support vectors depicted in the following image. So in order to classify nonlinear separable classes, SVMs use the kernel trick to map the data in a higher dimensional space where it can become linear separ separable. Now it's a time to look at the image of the support vector machine. As you can see in the image, this is the support vector machine. So there is a margin and also the support vector machines. As you can see in the image, so let's talk about a bit more about support vector machine. So in scikit-learn, an SVM is implemented under sklearn.svm both for regression with the sklearn.svm.svr and classification with sklearn.svm.svc. Once again, we will test the algorithm potential using the scikit-learn and the code utilize in the regression example using the using an SVM with the linear kernel on the breast cancer data set results in 95% accuracy and this is the confusion matrix so as you can see the predicted malignant and the target malignant is 39 and there is zeros and also we got the predicted malignant and the target beginning is we predict wrong however there is 121 correctly predicted so as you see the an SVM is improved a lot by using the support vector machine so on the diabetes data set by fine tuning the C parameter to 1000 during the SVR equal SVR kernel linear C equal 1 E3 object instantiation we are able to achieve an R square of 0 0.71 and an mean square errors of 1622.39 marginally better than the logic model so you say it improves a lot of, of accuracy by using the support vector machine and this is really important algorithm in the machine learning and that is all in this video so i hope you enjoy it and i will of course see you in the next video